Oh my god. I see a, a massive freaking waterfall. No way. Wow. Well, I've been having somewhat of a rough day. Oh man, I got fucking robbed. I uh, went back to my car to resupply because I was gonna grab some food, my paraglider, and head back off in the mountains for another week or so. I got back to find out that my paraglider, my drone, lots of my camera supplies, and a lot of other shit uh, was stolen. It was about $5,000 worth in gear. And so I'm out camping at this place called Index for the night. It's a place that I've been wanting to go uh, dirt bagging for a while. And um, I ended up uh, picking up this pie for my sorrows. It's a lovely looking pie. It's a blackberry pie. And I'm going to eat all my troubles away and go cry near this river because that was like everything I owned basically. Sad, sad day, but what you gonna do, you know? Um, I'm debating whether I'm gonna go back into the mountains or not. It sucks, because I had some really cool shit planned. Like, I was gonna be flying off mountains into some high alpine lakes, and oh, it was gonna be a hoot. Um, and to find out everything got stolen, I was like, oh man, I've been planning on this trip for a long time now, and it's just really put a damper on things real quick, but, um, so I'm figuring that out now, and yeah, you'll you'll be along for the journey. So, well, I'm gonna eat my pie now. So, adios. Well, I made it to the index climbing walls, and this place looks pretty incredible so far. Wow! Look at this. Things are huge. I would love to go do some climbing, but all my climbing equipment got stolen out of my car. <laughs> That's how life works. Beautiful though. Well, uh, this is home for the night. Right on the river and got a beautiful, beautiful view of sunset. I can vibe with that. Just trying to keep myself from not being upset about the shit I lost, but hey, it's only stuff. I'm still alive. Who knows? I probably could have died doing the shit I would was going to be doing, but you know, maybe these things happen for a reason and I'm alive because of it, so I don't want to be so up so upset about it. So I basically filed a police report and sheriff came and checked it out, got some fingerprints and um, I'm hoping insurance will cover everything but um, yeah I don't know for sure. The bastards took just about everything. I mean they they robbed me clean. I had like, I even had like $300 worth of food that they took. That was very upsetting. I don't know why they took all my food. Like you're gonna steal all my shit. I, I calculated it out and it, oh. oh shit. Yeah, so I uh, calculated everything out and they stole about $6,200 worth of gear, which is a lot. <laughs> really sucks. Um, but they didn't steal my trail mix. So I guess it's my lucky day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Those bastards don't know what they were missing out on when they didn't steal my trail mix. So I'm uh, back off into the mountains once again. Um, it's funny, I was only in society, back in society, not even for two days and only to be brought back down to my knees again. It's just incredible how uh, that toxic our society is right now. I can 
only handle it for so long before having to head back into the mountains or the wilderness to rejuvenate myself and regenerate because I can honestly only handle it for so long and it's all it's all just a bunch of bullshit right now and I I really don't want to have any part of it I want to help it you know I want to do good things for it because I just see so much suffering I I want to be the one to be there for people but it, it brings me down after a while as well and and when that happens like I, I can't help anyone so I have to come back out here to kind of you know <laughs> be myself again um, yeah I'm gonna be doing some some cool shit hopefully I'm heading way up there um, won't be as cool cuz I, I won't have my paraglider to fly off mountains and to high alpine lakes and like I was planning on doing I had some really cool stuff planned but uh I'll be doing cool stuff regardless and it uh really really sucks cuz I've been saving up all winter um, working like most of the time and in order to be able to pursue adventure filmmaking full-time and literally all that money and uh, gear that I had saved up for just boom gone just like that overnight so I don't really know what I'm gonna do now but you know I'm figuring it out I guess life and whatnot and it'll shit on you sometimes you don't know what true suffering is until you walk many miles over rocks wearing a 50 pound backpack and uh, yeah it hurts feels great though at the same time well I see mountains off in that direction that's where I'll be heading tomorrow excited this lake sure is spectacular. Oh no. Oh no. I tried to be cool, but I lost my page. Shit. <laughs> It's morning time. The mountains I'm heading up to are in uh, that direction up there. I feel as if the suffering that I had escaped only a few days ago has, has come back and reconsumed me. I feel uh, tired, scared, alone, I'm almost a little sick. And it really sucks because I had broken it away from it there for a while and I just felt that euphoria of just becoming me again and it just seems to come bounce right back. Um, so I'm going to try to feel like I'm trying to run away from it and maybe I can do so again just to get that uh, glimpse of ecstasy. Well, I have a, ow, completely uh, left the trail now and I'm bushwhacking my way up to the mountains because, you know, that's the most direct route and the trail ne doesn't necessarily go that way. Um, yeah, I don't know how long this will be, but it's uh, some pretty thick brush, that's for sure. Wow. Wow, this place is incredible. 
amazing that what you find when you leave the trail, you know? But it's also way more dangerous. So, uh, yeah, I'm basically just bushwhacking my way through this forest and now I have to climb this wall, so I'm gonna go now. Basically just uh, following this river up into the mountains and I finally escaped the brush a little bit. It was getting dense and I don't like it too much, so it's nice to be back out into the open. And boy, are there, there's some sharp shit out here. I've uh, punctured my feet a few times on thorns that are... Wow, look at that pool of water. That is so pretty. Wow, it's like a little tub. Hold on. Let's see what it looks like over here. Yeah, here's the stream I'm following. Oh man, heading right up there. Beautiful. Hold on. Wow, would you look at this? Secret little waterfall, just chilling out. How neat. God, it's been a couple now hours now of me bushwhacking, and oh, I just can't see the destination, and I'm getting so many thorns in my feet. God damn, that hurts. Trying to get to a vantage point or something, but I just can't see shit yet. So I'm, I really want to be able to see the mountains that I'm I'm heading off to. And God, it just keeps going through like this super thick brush. That is not fun. So I was just looking off in the distance, and it looks like there's the biggest forest fire I've ever seen, just billowing up in that direction over there. I'm hoping it doesn't come this way. It is literally just like right through that crescent up there. I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but it is huge. Shit. Well, I've been uh, bushwhacking for a little while now, but it looks like it's slowly starting to open up up here. And it's, it's looking beautiful, but also it looks like the clouds are rolling in, so I can't even see the mountains yet, sadly enough. This brush is so freaking thick. I'm just plowing my way through it. Hopefully I don't run into any bears like I did a few days back because this looks like prime bear territory. Looks like it's starting to open up and it looks freaking beautiful. Oh my God. I see a, a massive freaking waterfall. No way. Wow, there's a huge waterfall over there. <gasps> this is incredible. Holy shit. This is incredible. I'm really hoping these clouds clear up because there's just all mountains of, above them right now or underneath them, I guess. And but this is just spectacular. I've never seen anything like it. And that waterfall is huge. I'm so excited. Oh, this is so beautiful. What is this place? Oh my gosh. Alrighty. So I, uh, Set up camp for the night. It's hidden back here in this little cove. Check this out. It's right back in here, right on the little stream. Okay. It's a little windy right now and the clouds are there so. I'm hoping it'll clear up by tomorrow because, I mean, like, we'll get an excellent view of the mountains with that waterfall. But this is beautiful. Check it out.
probably can't see it with this ultra wide lens, but there is a huge waterfall just right there. Oh, this is going to be incredible. <sighs> I'm probably going to chill here, read my book for a little bit, and hopefully these clouds will pass, and hopefully it doesn't rain. Hopefully that forest fire doesn't come this way. <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of things that I'm kind of hoping for right now, but for the me in the meantime, I'm just going to relax for a little bit. That sounds quite nice. Ooh, the weather seems to be picking up a little bit. Although I do feel uh, pretty cozy in my nice new little home. It's such a nice place to be. I'm sitting here reading my book and I feel way better now. It's just as if being in the mountains, off in the wilderness, middle of nowhere really, really rejuvenates me. And it's so peaceful out here. It's what I need. There's no stress. Just a little bumblebee right there sitting on that flower hanging out. I don't know if you can even see that. And this is where I belong. I just really hope those clouds clear up so I can see those mountains. I think tomorrow I might go up there and do some uh, free soloing and, and whatnot. We'll see how I feel. See if the weather clears up or not. I feel at peace again. I feel as if this euphoria is just kind of swept over me and I'm just at that state of mind that I've been chasing for so long now and it's just it's incredible.